In this example, given a signal xn equal to sine omega n multiplied with u n, to determine the z transform of the sine function, we need to apply Euler's identity. So for sine function, it became this one. Based on this Euler identity of sine function, that is equal to 1 over 2j, okay, multiply with exponent j omega t minus exponent negative j omega t. So we need to transform this function into z transform. So back to uh, the closed form expression. So we have this one, z minus z negative ej omega. We need to drop the function n here. Minus z divided by z minus exponent negative j omega. After we settle this one based on Euler's identity, we have this function. So essentially, the z transform of sine function of omega n is equal to z sine omega divided by z squared minus 2z cos omega plus 1. The next example is xn equal to cos omega n u n. So to transform this signal of cos function into z transform, Again, we apply Euler's identity. From this cos function, it became this one. It based on cos omega t equal to 1 over 2. The, uh, multiply with exponent j omega t plus exponent negative j omega t. Please note that uh, the difference of this polarity, this is plus for cos and minus for sine function. So... We construct this format and then use the closed form expression. We have this function z divided by z negative exponent j omega plus z divided by z minus exponent negative j omega. If we settle this one, we got this function. Please refer to Euler's identity. So for z transform of cos omega n is equal to z multiplied with z minus cos omega divided by z squared negative or minus 2z cos omega plus 1. So this is a conclusion of unilateral z transform table based on few example of signals in time domain with a conversion uh, in z transform. So these are the commonly used when solving difference equation in the closed expression form.